Dear bass players, if you don't know it already, I'm going to show you a method to how to create bass lines or grooves, which might normally not have occurred to you. We're going to do it without using our instrument or standard notation. Spacetime can basically be divided into almost infinitely small parts, and this applies to measures in music as well. Let's take a standard 4-4 bar, which consists of four beats. Let's visualize these beats via the use of lines, which will be equidistant from each other, just as they are time-wise. There will be five of them, while the last one is going to represent the first beat of the next bar. Let's mark them with numbers and assign drum sounds to them. Let's divide our measure into even smaller parts, dividing every beat in half and then again. What we get is basically a measure divided into 16th notes. Should drums play it, it might sound something like this. So now we ended up with a kind of ruler, which visualizes one measure. Let's assign dots to some of the lines. These will represent places where a note on the bass should be played. We get a bass line as a result, which we can play. Dots can be placed arbitrarily, thus creating new bass lines. If we want the note to be longer, we can visualize its length like this. We can also mark various kinds of techniques, such as slap, pop, tap, or hammer-ons. If necessary, we can also mark a muted note or double stop. Behold a new bass line. Some of you might be wondering what to do with triplets and such stuff. Those can't be put onto our ruler since their length and position in time follows a different pattern. But a complete triplet also has a set length and that's why it can be visualized as well. We just need to define its position in the measure and create an extra ruler above this position, which we will divide into three equal parts. This gives us four lines, while the fourth one denotes the first note of the next triplet, just as the fifth big line on the original ruler denotes the beginning of the following bar. Triplets can of course become sextuplets if we further divide the ruler. We can also work with quintuplets or septuplets, or any kind of tuplet for that matter. Um, <clears throat> the triplet can be placed anywhere in the bar. It doesn't have to start on a downbeat, which could create interesting rhythms. We also don't have to play each note of a triplet. By the way, the measures don't only have to have four beats. So what are the advantages of this method? First of all, it's a very clear time visualization of the lengths and distances between the individual notes. Thanks to this, we can read and play rhythms which would have looked more complicated in standard notation. If we use this method for baseline creation, we can come up with things which would have never occurred to us with an instrument in our hands. Drawing dots on the ruler is always easy, no matter the complexity of the resulting bass line. It gives us the chance to step outside our comfort zone, discover new rhythms, and learn something new. Granted, this method doesn't give us pitch information, but this could be an advantage. A particular groove can be used for practicing chords, scales, or harmonic progressions. For instance, in your groove, you can limit yourself to only playing chord tones of a given chord or chord progression. You can also use chords from an existing song and follow its changes, while the rhythm and phrasing will be defined by the visualized groove.